this is really the bull market year, 2021. Bitcoin, you know, has it had a 12 year history and uh, it's gone up and down over the last 12 years. But the, the markets come in, the bull market cycles come in every three or four years. And 2021 is that special year. We just had a block reward halving last year. So no one saw it coming, but last year Bitcoin was tra trading uh, barely at $10,000. It's already at over $50,000. And I think uh, with the bull market, it could really go up to uh, over $100,000 in the summer. But wait, it gets better. Uh, it, it could even 100000 by the summer, but you're also saying it could triple that. So 300000 up to by the end of the year. Is that right? But, yeah, potentially. If history plays itself out again, uh, we've seen two of these mega bull market cycles over the past eight years. Uh, if you recall, at the end of 2013, it really went up you know, 10 times, 20 times uh, for that year ending at $1,200. And then again, we saw the big cycle four years subsequent, which was end of 2017, and it was trading early in the year at just $1,000 and then went to $20,000 by year end. So this year, Bitcoin entered uh, 2021 at $30,000. So, um, you know, even just a 10x uh, value from that would be $300,000. But I don't know if history will repeat itself, but what we do know is that Bitcoin bull market cycles come every four years, and this is a big one. Bobby, we could also characterize those kind of targets as, as a bubble, can't we? What's oh, going to happen yes, when that bubble yes. bursts? <laughs> so that's the key thing, right? So bull market cycles come and go. And after a bull market peak, inevitably it could go down by a, quite a bit. And that's when the bubble bursts. Uh, in the Bitcoin crypto industry, we call it Bitcoin winter. And uh, they can last from two to three years. So after it peaks out, whether it's 200, 100,000, or even 300,000, uh, people should be aware that it could fall as much as 80 to 90% of its value from the all-time peak. So it's, it's very volatile. But uh, in, as I've written in my book, in my upcoming book, The Promise of Bitcoin, people should not make the mistake that volatility equates to risk. Uh, Bitcoin is very volatile, but it's, the wow. rewards are risk-adjusted, I think.